How you doing? Good. What do you have here? It's an Aquatint etching by Moreau, Joan Moreau. OK. It looks really cool. Definitely. I really like Moreau. He's one of my favorite artists. It's simple, but yet your subconscious still thinks, what could this be, you know? This could be a kite. This could be a row. This could be anything, you know? Like, it really gets you thinking, what could this be? $10,000. <laughs> Do you know a date on it or anything like that? No idea. I don't know the title, the date. All I know is it's titled 49 out of 50, so I assume it's an edition of 50. There's definitely a big market for Moreau's work. In 2012, Sotheby's set a record by selling his masterpiece, Etoile Blue, for $37 million. If this piece is real, it won't fetch millions, but it could be worth thousands. So how much do you want to get for it? Uh, 12,000, as well as I was thinking. There was an art gallery downtown about 10 years ago that had similar etchings by Moreau. Okay. And uh, they were selling anywhere between forty dollars and $70,000. You know what? I can see this going for 12000 That's not out of the ballpark for a Moreau piece. The thing is, even though his artwork is worth a lot of money, he's one of the most faked artists around from this period of time. Like, his signature is faked a lot. And I'm not a signature expert, but signature looks a little iffy to me. It kind of looks like stop and go, stop and go. Moreau had a real fluid signature. I would just like someone to come down and take a look at it. I got a art expert, Brett. He's dealt with Moreau's for a long time. So give me a few minutes, and I'm going to go call him. Absolutely, sure. I'm a little nervous to hear what the expert has to say because I don't have a good baseline to know what it's worth, and I am also unsure if it's truly authentic. <laughs> All right, let's Check see. Check this out. I don't know if we've called you down for one of these before. Ah, I don't think so. Miro, Miro on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> very, very nice. Jean Moreau is really one of the 20th century masters. He's right up there with Picasso and Matisse. He was a master of all media, from engravings to aqua tints to stone lithography. He could do it all. I am familiar with this image. I've actually seen this. The title is called Demi Mondaine at her window. You can see that this is a figure. You can see the eye. You can see the appendages here. And it's, it's probably a woman of the night uh, wearing a, an or, ornate uh, gown with you know, beautiful flowing colors and standing in front of a window. And it's a window view of the, the night sky. You've got the stars, the moon, or maybe these are city lights. I mean, this is really indicative of his late period work. OK. Now, did you have some specific questions, Chum? I don't know if it's real. And also, the signature is not quite as flowy as I would mm. normally see from a Moreau signature. Was it OK if we put this up on the table? You're the boss. OK, great. All right, let me take a closer look here. Yeah, I think what we have here is a, it's a mixed media print. I do see plate marks, which would be indicative of an engraving where they actually press the copper plate into the paper. You can see it kind of, uh, you know, the trace of it there. It's on the right type of paper, so this does appear to be an original Moreau graphic. Oh, excellent. Great. OK, now this is where I run into some issues. I have seen this work. And every single one that I've seen, the signature usually appears higher up within the composition below the green, and the number typically appears below this orange sphere. The signature, I'm a little worried about. There's a lack of fluidity here. I mean, it, there's a lot of breaks in the arches of the M. I think what this might be was an original graphic that somebody else signed and numbered. Oh. <laughs> Which is a shame, because even an original graphic that's unsigned and unnumbered is going to be worth many thousands of dollars. It's kind of like autographing a Mickey Mantle card yourself. You know, it loses a lot of the value. Again, I can't say with 100% authenticity, but based on my experience with this particular work in Moreau, I, I just see too many red flags to advise Chum to purchase it. All right. Sorry. All right, All right. Bro. All right. Nice meeting you. Yeah, same here. All right. Thank you, Chum. Yep, thanks for All coming right. in. Have a good one, guys. I'm afraid I had to advise Chum to pass on the work. Even though I think the graphic itself is genuine, there's just too many question marks about the signature and the addition for me to advise him to purchase it. So even though he thinks it's a real Moreau graphic, I'm going to have to pass. It's going to be hard for me to sell. It still seems kind of fictitious. I understand. All right, thank well, you. thanks for bringing it in. It was oh, a pleasure you. to look at. Yeah, thank you. It's very disappointing to hear that it's an authentic Moreau, but someone forged Moreau's signature. Now I'll probably end up hanging up the Moreau wherever we end up staying. 
and um, enjoying it as much as I can.